Hello everyone, today in this video we will fight against the Admas character of our world around us and this time we will uh, have some uh, considerations about uh, period of history which is, in my opinion, my humble opinion, the best and the most clear to learn about us. What period we can study to learn the uh, purest truth, the nicest and the harshest truth about ourselves. Of course, we should study the entire history of human being from the most distant one to the very recent one. But in my, uh, in my views, the best uh, period our, from which we can learn about ourselves the, I would say the purest forms of human character, the most diverse uh, number of types of human uh, characters and behaviors appeared uh, there. This period is antiquity. And I mean classical antiquity, so Greece and Rome, Middle Eastern antiquity, so Mesopotamia and Egypt, plus ancient China and ancient India. And of course, more and more with time, we know about ancient civilizations, but it's still a little bit little, of Mesoamericas. Uh, so, uh, like Toltecs, Olmecs, Mayas. And uh, studying these civilizations and cultures, we see all spectrum of human behaviors and human types. Why I say that? It's very simple. And because in medieval times, two great mono, monotheistic religions came, Christianity and later Islam, which is fine, but they introduced these two great religions, which spread quite rapidly, especially Islam. Uh, they introduced a sort of universalism, like medieval universalism in Christianity, so Christendom, uh, word of uh, Christianity and Dar ar Islam uh, in Arabic, word of Islam. And within this, of course, we have a variety of forms of these two uh, cultures uh, affected and inspired by these two great religions. And also we have a lot of branches of the same, uh, of, the, of these religions that really erupted, uh, emerged. And also we have some strange mixtures of these two great religions like Druze or Alawites with some admixtures of other Asian systems like Buddhism, Hinduism and so on, which is fine. But uh, uh, what, what's the problem in my analysis? The problem in this uh, universalism of uh, Christianity and Islam is that the, these two great systems, religions, unified for many people uh, many basic aspects. We do not realize it because we live in this world actually and we see how much uh, thinking of many people from completely different culture, ethnic groups, uh, types, races was unified if they are living in Christendom or as uh, Mr. Marshall Hodgson, Hodgson great prematurely died in 1968, American scholar of Islam, or Islamdom. This, this neologism he created was not commonly accepted, but in my opinion, it suits really well to describe in Western language, Dar ar Islam, so word of Islam. So Christendom and Islamdom unified behaviors, thinking on a very basic level of dozens of nations, tens of nations in many, many areas, even far from each other. But uh, antiquity, before this religion, uh, before these two religions, first Christianity, came to power, is full of diversity, is full of uh, isolated or relatively isolated civilizations. And at the same time, we have many documented far distant contacts. For sure, we have contacts documented between Mesopotamia and Egypt, Mesopotamia and India, 
and Mesopotamia and Central Asia and I, I'm sure with time we will discover more. We have many contacts documented uh, by, uh, made by Phoenicians. In my opinion, they also discovered New World. We have some more traces, especially in the areas of uh, the rivers connected with Great Lakes because they enter the delta of the uh, St. Lawrence River and uh, many many other things. We have also proofs that there were uh, contacts between uh, of course even uh, very close Greeks and India, uh, greco bactrian Kingdom and later Indo-Greek Kingdoms. Um, we have also proof that um, there were some uh, even numerous, relatively numerous, taking it back on the distance, contacts between Rome and China. And uh, I think and hope, but I'm sure, with time we will discover many more. That is why, with such diversity, not unified by any great religious or ideological system, when the local diversity could be uh, preserved and develop uh, relatively or, or fully on its own. Uh, thanks to these features, I find antiquity, so before the period of Christianity and Islam, the best, the best time to study uh, human characters, cultures and uh, human potential of creativity. Why? Because we have all systems completely isolated, relatively isolated. We have big organisms, state organism, uh, from uh, taking into account uh, commonly accepted uh, version of uh, history, the, uh, the period which is commonly accepted. First empire of Akkad, of Zargon, and his grandson Naram Sim. We have small city-states like Sumer. We have later uh, Chinese warring kingdoms, we have later unification by Qing Shi Huangdi and a little bit earlier we have unification, uh, at least linguistic and cultural to some extent in terms of elites, unification of the world by Alexander in this sense. We have also small po polis, polis fighting for its autonomy, so we have everything and we have also later great unification, much better than the Greek one, by Rome with huge preservation of local cultures at the end of the day Latinized on the East and Hellenized uh, Latinized on the West sorry and Latinized in uh, Latinized on the West and uh, Hellenized in the East so we have all types of human cultural and political organizations and later all processes very well documented of unification and later the composition like the composition of Western Roman Empire into Germanic kingdoms with different types of religion uh, like Roman Catholicism religion or, and versus Arianism. That was one of the reasons of the decomposition of Western Roman Empire, this conflict within Christianity. So we have all versions. That is why I think antiquity is the best, the most pure and full of different examples, period to study human character and human potential by any means and by any aspects. All the best. Have a nice day.